Hey guys, welcome to Sketch A Day Live on Instagram and on YouTube. Hopefully you're having a good Tuesday. I know we're just together a few hours ago, but wanted to stream this morning. Continue practicing. I wanted to continue practicing with you guys. So that being said, hopefully you're ready to draw too and practice. We're doing fashion this week. And so I'm going to I'm going to continue practicing because I don't feel like I'm good at people. And yesterday was good. We worked through some challenges, figured out some stuff, came up with with this sketch here. So we're going to continue um, just practicing and roughing it out. And you get to watch me be incredibly uncomfortable and learn <laughs> and hopefully grow together. So um it's all good. All right, so let's kick things off with a little bit of a warm up here. If you are watching on Instagram and want a different experience, more full, fun uh, experience where you can interact with me in the chat, check out YouTube. What's up, patrons? We got Latrice joining, Antibus, hello. Unknown Tanishka, hello. Is this your first time? Welcome, welcome. All right, I always show techniques. Garima23 on Instagram. Um, I always do. So if it's your first time, welcome. I've been doing this for over a decade now. I swear the algorithm is really weird on these social platforms, but it's all good. David, hello. Good evening. Santiago Spinelli. What is that? Is that a shrimp? Are you calling me a shrimp? Oh my goodness. I've never been called a shrimp. I've been called worse, but never, never a shrimp. All right. I was going to show you here the discord so we have a discord server you guys are welcome to join that um and this week we're doing fashion like i said and we have weekly challenges so part of sketch a day live is you have an opportunity to post your work and get feedback on friday i will feature some of your work so this week the theme is fashion and we have lots of awesome reference here that our mod jordan put together so you'll want to check out that channel if you want to join the server, it's just sketchaday.com slash discord. Or you can check out the info in the video description. But yes, like I said, lots of good uh, resources here. And I'm going to be looking at reference myself because, like I said, I am not uh, expert at this stuff. And that's okay. If you got to look at reference... Mix things up, it's totally fine. I did learn some interesting things in my study and I'll point those out um, to you guys today as we're working. I've got like four screen, let's see, one, two, three, four, five monitors in front of me. <laughs> so sometimes I forget where I'm looking. What's up, Alan? Hello. Yeah, I've got one monitor to monitor chat. I've got one monitoring Instagram. I've got monitoring the stream. I've got like search and inspiration up. I've got, yeah, I've got a lot of stuff going. All right, so it doesn't matter if I'm sketching fashion or anything else, we're gonna warm up. That's how I'm gonna start here, just like so. Okay, with this new system, I was worrying I would have to upgrade my computer too, but it doesn't look like I have to. Seems like we are doing, doing pretty well. Um, I mentioned a few streams ago that I have some clients that I stream with that I kind of have to just make sure the stream is top notch. So I'm always looking to improve, make things better, lighting, audio, computer stuff, cameras. So I do appreciate your contributions and as well being here it means a lot, helps a lot, all of that good stuff. David, first timer. Awesome. Thank you for joining. Alan, welcome back. Alan gave me a dab. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to be chill today. We're going to learn together. All right. Um, like I said, I picked up on some good uh, reference material, things like clothing folds, right, that I'll be looking at personally, um, but wanted to share with you guys. Again, on Instagram, you can't see this because I'm plugged into my laptop as well, but just looking at some reference to kind of help out, right? Um, you only know what you know, and you kind of have to make sure you've got the goods, you got the deets. I don't know why this didn't open in the same file, though. So we add, let's see if this will work. Yep, that works. Okay. 
we're good now. So I'll, I'll show you this again. Okay, so picked up on some reference here. Okay, we got foals. Because I'm, I'm, I was kind of interested in foals and some posing things as well. So I'm going to be looking at that as we join. Draw, all right? Um, are you live at the same time every day? I'm not live at the same time every day. So the best thing to do is uh, sign up for alerts. And I also feel like I need to kind of loosen up today. So I'm going to do a different exercise that I haven't done before here. So yeah, the best thing to do is subscribe on YouTube, turn on alerts, and you'll get an email or app notification when I do go live. Typically, I go live anywhere from 9 to 10 a.m. Pacific, somewhere in that time frame. If I'm busy that day, then I usually push it to the evening. I'm a full-time single father, so I take care of my kids full-time. And so my time's a little bit spotty, but I do try to go live most days, okay? Just a little practice here in terms of control. Trying to see if I can draw some circles that touch these lines here. Got some stuff in the way, so it's a little awkward. Man, I either need a bigger desk or I need to put my laptop on the other side. I gotta figure this out at some point. All right, I'm really happy today. I hope you guys are happy. Um, I think I, I posted on Instagram yesterday in my stories that I vote, or not voted, but I registered to vote. This will be my first time voting. Not because I didn't want to, but because I couldn't. I'm actually from the island of Jamaica. I've been here in the United States for 19 years. Just about, actually, almost 20 years. <laughs> But it's taken that long to kind of get situated, immigrated, converted over all of that stuff. So when I left Jamaica, um, it didn't really make sense for me to maintain voting status there. So I didn't ever vote on the island. I left when I was 18. Now you know my age. I'll be 38 this year, guys. Um, so I didn't really have a need to do it there and then i had to wait what's up abhishek um so with this exercise by the way i'm trying to make sure that i create ellipses that are essentially split half and half you know so this one that's a no-no but i'm also trying to increase the degree of the ellipse someone asked me about technique earlier so super important if you're trying to learn to draw all right so the exercise i want to do here is i i got to loosen up I've got to loosen up my arms and be like, you know, those those things outside the gas stations or businesses where like, woo, I got to loosen up my stroke a little bit. So let's do it. <laughs> What's up, Mandar? Hello. Yeah, I, and frankly, I don't know when the best time is for the stream. So the good thing is the streams are all archived on my YouTube. Okay. And just to preempt any questions here, I do get I do get this question a lot. You know, what pen are you using? What's what's going on? So I'm gonna pin this message to the chat here. So if you have any questions about the materials I'm using, you can uh, you can check that out. I have way too many Chrome tabs open on my laptop, so to avoid embarrassment, I will skip that. <laughs> skip that for you but i did want to show you on the youtube you guys let's see are we live yes um this is my youtube channel you can see all my subscriptions whatever but in any case um on my channel you'll have this section here past live streams okay so this is the one from yesterday um friday because i had to skip this weekend basically and so on so if you're looking for videos you can always scroll through here i'm working on updating some of these thumbnails so stay tuned um do i ever use copic wide should we use them today of course i do of course of course does the sun rise in the east is the sky blue <laughs> alan 
Sorry, I'm just being silly. Okay, so I learned a couple things in my... Oh, no, I was going to warm up. Get loose, I forgot. So I just want to, like, kind of just get moving on the paper, right? This is just... Yeah, this feels, this feels really good, actually. I'm going to switch to Sharpie. Um, but this is just, just a way for me to kind of loosen up. Um, you want to try and hold your pen back from the tip a little bit. Okay. So I'm just, I'm just going to try and get my, my loose juices. That sounds gross, but my, <laughs> get my flow going. I'm feeling a little silly today too. It might be the, the caffeine. All right. So in say, you know, in a lot of industrial design, sketching tends to be about, you know, control and precision, like balanced with a bit of expressiveness. I was like, what is that sound? I forgot I'm doing my kid's laundry. Um, <laughs> I thought someone was breaking into my house. And I was like, oh, shoot. Um, so just trying to like, you know, get a little bit loose here. Because like I said, industrial design sketching sometimes can feel like this, you know, delicate balance of control and expressiveness. And I just want to, I kind of want to break free of that a little bit here. So... Just getting my my hands getting my hands moving, getting us grooving. All right. So yesterday we did this dude, like I said, and I salvaged it. It was it was a steaming pile of garbage, and then I salvaged it. So I'm gonna try and see if I can do some more uh, fashion style silhouettes. Like I said, I've got I've got a little help here up just to kind of help with my gesturing. So that being said. Let's start with some thumbnails and then we'll bust out into perhaps some bigger sketches. Now, I don't know what style I want to sketch necessarily in terms of clothing. Um, I do tend to like urban streetwear type stuff, big coats. They're not really that pricey. Um, I think they're about the same as a regular Copic, if I remember correctly. Um, but it's been a while since I bought them. So one thing I did uh, learn is that in fashion sketching, um, you try to make your figure about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, about 10 heads high. So this would be the height of your your figure. Um, your shoulder is gonna be about there, torso, you know, you can sketch arms, however you want. Um, and then think about, and I'm just gonna do a block for the head, okay? something like that neck so thinking about uh just make sure i'm live okay i am live Whew. so many windows to keep track of guys and i'm actually thinking about getting a different monitor too just to contain all of ha! fashion apparel you know what mecha art you know what i'm gonna make sure we put a gerbil inside of one of these sketches all right so shoulders face this way so i'm going to do hips this way right if this is some sort of female you know we want nice long legs so i'm going to move that hip up a little bit and then as far as legs go we can have you know think about your uh positioning this again this is just what i'm what i'm learning i'm trying to frame out and i'll kind of use this thank you tom i am happy <laughs> it was so stressful but i got a ton of work done um got to relax a little bit last night so it was all good had a good chat with a friend late last night so it was good it's good what's up marzipan sisman sisman sizeman hello uh let's see Yes, I had a good weekend. Thank you very much. Tiny coat in orange and blue with a top hat and glasses for the gerbil. <laughs> uh, I love that. Anyhow, so just kind of thinking about weight distribution. That was the word or term I was trying to think of. Weight distribution, right? So... You know, if I've got legs here, you can 
do something like that. And then for the shape of the feet, I'm just going to stick to simple diamonds and not really like, you know, fuss about it. So this, this gives me like a good rough figure that I can use, right? And notice the curves, right? We've got weight there, but then a little bit of direction there and then back. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm thinking when I draw these figures. I'm determined to get good at this, so <laughs> let's do another one here. But again, the idea being, you know, you kind of want this exact, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna continue. Let's see, do, do, do. I'm gonna continue with this kind of style here. Let's see, it depends on where we want this arm to go. Maybe just a relaxed kind of look on that, this side. But yeah, just kind of blocking in here. And obviously, well, maybe not obviously, but I'm trying to do a, a female figure. In terms of the face, I'm gonna try and keep that simple. I was also playing with, okay, if I, if I do draw a face, you know, how do I do that quickly? Maybe something like that. So again, we're learning together. So you could just do something like that, figure wise. This is like a crazy, maybe squatting figure. have to figure that out but we'd have to figure the figure out but anyway you could probably do something like that too anyhow so as i've been doing this just figuring out these gestures we're just going to keep practicing um once again i will be making these available to the patron so the sketch from yesterday that we did right here is um available on the google drive for patrons so if you want access to the high resolution files you can check that out or or not you know, it's your call. Patreon is just a good way to support your creators. We've had a few new patrons this year. Well, not year, this month. So much appreciate the support for sure. All right, so yesterday we did a dude. Um, and like I said, today I kind of want to do some sort of female fashion. Maybe I'll do both. You know, maybe we'll do both. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, it's definitely a uh, different style of sketching for sure. I'm trying to draw a dude here actually. I'm already running out of running out of space. Didn't learn my lesson from yesterday. It's so hard to fight like um how do I say this? It's hard to fight my instincts to want to sketch a certain way. I'm gonna have to practice my dudes a little bit because I was sketching uh, women for a bit. I could turn this into a female figure easily enough. Yes, mecha art. I'm trying to be just loose and gestural as I take a break from sketching products and sketch some fashion figures. Um, this is no, by no means classical figure drawing. Um, if anything, you could say it's product product based figure drawing. All right, I do have a hard stop today at around 1040. So stream will be about an hour here. And I think I can I think I can make this work. So 
So again, notice how far up the barrel I'm holding the pen. Okay, that's just to help me keep this gestural. And I think we'll make this, we'll still make this a female figure. But keep the silhouette interesting. something like that I don't know what you ladies wear these days so I'm just making some stuff up <laughs> maybe this person deserves some big hat of some sort right we could do that and then I'll use my my little gesture I created for face Feels a little overworked. So maybe that's one. I feel like this leg should be, you know, a little bit further out, but it is what it is. So Sketch a Day Live, thanks again for joining. Learning with me as we do some uh, fashion figure drawing. Super fun. So yeah, maybe at least as we get more confident here. We can start to do some more interesting things. Again, keep it loose. There's that, that weight distribution I was talking about, right? So where is the stable, stable leg, so to speak? A little skirt action here. It, it reminds me, actually, um, the more I do this, it reminds me a bit of um, product sketching in that we... Hey, Tom, we're doing fashion sketching. Um, we try to be gestural in products and focus on... Focus on those things that... Um, matter the most in the sketch right so even here I've got some hair and I'm just trying to be a bit expressive about it I almost forget doing the face <laughs> but I like the gestures so far So there's two. Um, one thing I did, yes, body proportions are hard, and I've had to break, break my, um, what do you call it? I've had to break a little bit with my, training as I've self-trained on proportion of bodies to do these, which I suppose is fine. Uh, which way would this go? Okay, I was trying to do some weird 
Okay, this one feels like it's falling apart, but I was trying to do some like weird bell bottom type thing. So let's try this again. Again, the point here of today's stream is we're all learning together. So I would say that one's that one's better than than that one. I think. So I like I like that. Um, and there's nothing wrong with tracing, but I'm trying to learn, and when I'm trying to learn something new, I like to do it over and over and over, right? So we kind of started here this morning, getting a little bit warm, um, making it better, and once again, yesterday, I think I did this five times yesterday or something, and we finally got to a good place, so <clears throat> let's see what we can do. I think we'll do, let's see, 26, yeah, I'll do, I'll do a few more here. Keep them quick, and then uh, Mecha Art requested a hamster gerbil. <laughs> so I got to figure that out. That's like that's like a hard, hard gear switch though. You know, it's like yeah, I want to do some like bell bottom type thing, but I was trying to figure out okay, how would this look? The other thing I noticed with the fashion figures is it feels like a lot of times they I forgot what I was going to say <laughs> but if it feels like um, oh the emphasis is more on the clothes and I'm really not like personally anyway super into fashion so it's kind of hard for me to even be thinking about the idea of the clothes so much as it is uh, let's see what kind of hair should I put on this and I'm not gonna do a face so I think the faces end up being a little little distracting um, which you know frankly is something that we do in product sketching as well You know, there's one shoe, and I guess this one could be behind or something. It's kind of a weird, weird uh, step if this leg were behind, but could do something like that. All right, so I'll keep that as a second one, and we'll add some marker. Um, is that a paint mixer or a dryer machine? It was my dryer. I was washing my kids' clothes. Sorry about that. <laughs> like. As far as how my home is situated, this room, that wall behind me is my laundry. And I had started the laundry and I needed to because he's turning into a preteen human who smells bad. Don't tell him I said that. And it just happens. You know how it is. Humans are smelly and all that good stuff. So had to uh, had to get him right, you know, get his get his situation right. They're no longer smelling like baby powder. It's a tragedy, but they grow up. All right, let's see here. I'll do, I'll do a couple more. There's this pose I'm actually looking at on this dude. Um, maybe I'll do that in a little bit. Show that off for you guys. All right, let's see what other what other pose here. It seems and it, it, like I said, it seems like there's some standard things you can kind of do with poses. Um, so that, so that, and then let's grab a hand, and then maybe a hand here down the waist. Just keep it, you know, gestural. But yeah, yesterday I was like, I was, I was pretty stressed on the stream. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But chatting with a friend of mine, um, they said that it was okay. 
And I appreciated that because, yeah, I was able to work through some things, right? I was able to kind of, kind of work through some things, and that felt good. I don't know why ladies' pants don't ever have pockets, but let's give her some pockets. And yes, I am relying a bit. And and there's that that directionality again, right? That's the weight distribution. Um, let's see here. Gotta get some hair in here. I'm gonna do some big Big Leia puffs. Black hair. I said I wasn't going to do faces, so we'll see. We'll see. Alright, so... I guess I like this these shawl type things. Sketch some lines in here preemptively. Blouse. Keep it simple. All right, so now we have, yeah, now I kind of want to redo that one. Um, this one's pretty decent, and then I like that one as well. So we're getting better. We're getting better. But yes, I will redo this one. I think. I'm going to have the hat be more of, I think, uh, Skeren had a sketch with a hat, kind of like that, and I liked it. Nothing wrong with taking a look at, you know, what another artist does. Super gestural again. And let's see, what was this outfit? Oh, we had that coat thing. I guess I kind of missed out on that. this weird coat thing going. But I think I can make that work. Designers! I used to love watching Project Runway. Did any of you guys watch Project Runway? I used to love that show. So maybe something like that. I'm in a different camera. Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That was an accident. That was such an accident. I'm so sorry. Okay, so I just did this sketch. <laughs> People on Instagram were like, what? What are you talking about? It's not frozen. Um, so I did that one. Again, there's that gravity, right? Actually, the hips should be like that, but um, don't tell anyone. There's our gravity, just gestural, keeping it loose on the feet, details. And like, there's another one we did, or another one here. So we've got, we've got like four. Let's do some dudes, and then we'll throw some quick marker on and call it good. All right. Thanks for letting me know, guys. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be hiding things from you. There are no no secrets on Sketch Day. In fact, I'm going to make sure that, just in case, make sure just in case we're good. Thanks again for joining, by the way. 
Um, I'm having a good Tuesday. I'm just happy to be past the weekend and being busy. Mm, that was weird. And uh, I hope you guys are good. We are working through some tough stuff. I am not the best at drawing people. You guys know that. So this has been really fun. I've learned a ton in the last, actually, 24 hours. At least as far as fashion reference and sketching go. And like I said before, there is nothing wrong with, uh, you know, as you're trying to learn and teach yourself something, you know, take a look at some reference and see see how to do things like folds. I'm going to get to that later, not today. Um, but yeah, taking a look at folds, gestures, how people stand and so forth. And these are just things I picked up off Pinterest. So it's a great place to go. Um, additionally, you can check out the Discord. All right, so the Discord's gonna have this channel called Weekly Sketches. The theme this week is fashion. So we wanna see your fashion sketches. We've got one from Tom here. Um, Felix posted a funny meme. Lori's working on some gestures as well. Um, so yeah, we haven't had a ton of posts. So I'm hoping you guys post some stuff. And again, we have some reference in there as well. So check that out and uh, come learn with me. We're learning together and it's pretty freaking awesome. I'm excited to do it with you. All right, let's do a couple more here. Um, Mecca says, I remember back in 2002 or 2003, learning a bit about fashion. And is it true that for fashion concepts, they will glue parchments of fabric on a paper design? fashion model sketch body. I'm not sure. I know Lori, um, our resident fashion sketcher <laughs> on sketch a day, um, unofficially resident, but she, uh, will make these like paper dolls. Um, you can check out her Instagram as well. I'll give you a link here. I'm sure she'd appreciate the follows. So I'm going to paste that link in the chat here. So that's, that's Lori. She's one of our patrons. Check it out. Um, she has these really cool faces too. And we'll do like portraits of people. It's pretty cool. It's like really quick um, figure sketching. Again, something I'm not super good at. Okay, I feel like I'm stalling. Let's see. Because I got 20 minutes and we got to do some quick marker on these. But I want to do at least one more male figure. All right. So again, let me think through this. Just have a nice, simple, simple pose here. Probably a more blocky form, I'm guessing. We'll just do a standard thing here. So yeah, switching gears is always kind of tough, but we'll figure it out. This guy's a little too, too skinny. We'll just have hand in pocket for the male. I suppose this is a bit stereotypical. A bit stereotypical. Yeah, I can't get this this leg thing right. Let me let me think through this a little bit. Um, I feel like this needs to come more like yeah, like that. So almost like as far as weight distribution goes, maybe just do something like that. That feels better. Oh, awesome! Yeah, uh, bookmark her page. Give her a follow. Let's blow her page up today. That's uh, LB Project print Lori Burt, our very own. Give her a, a like and a follow. Typically, how many heads in an average? Uh, I think it's like 10 heads in a fashion model. All right, let's measure here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, something something like that. But a normal human, when you're drawing them, tends to be more like 
seven heads, seven or eight. So that's why I'm like kind of thrown off here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this would be your normal human fashion. Kind of skew a little bit. Oh, that's what I was going to say. It reminds me of car design a little bit. Where in car design, you like skew the hell out of the proportions and make things all about the drama and the gesture. At least in the initial stages of the concept. So I can see where there are some similarities here. All right, I got to hustle. I'll steal a few minutes from my, my next engagement. It's okay. So Sketch A Day Live, thanks for joining once again. Hope you're having a good time. Hope you're having a happy Tuesday. Oh, I was going to overlay this dude. That's what I was going to do. I guess I could redraw it. I need to I need to redraw anyways. So I'll redraw here. And I'm just going to use straight lines. I guess the head should be pointing the other way. Yeah, that feels better. Just keep it, keep it loose. Okay, that distance is bugging me. I feel like this needs to be a little bit lower. We'll come down to about here. All right, so now I'll overlay this one. I'm just using cheap printer paper, by the way. Um, someone asked me about wide markers, so we can try the wide marker, right? Um, like I said, I like big coats. So I'm trying to think of how I might do this on this guy. Have it feel like a big coat but sometimes you can just start with the marker when we do these sketches But yeah, this this is like this is a good challenge this week, <laughs> just because it is not something I typically do. I'm starting to feel like a, a lady. Anyhow, not something I typically do, so I appreciate the challenge. Also trying to resist uh, using my ID sketching techniques here. Just let it go, let it flow. Yeah, I'm I got I got to decide what to do with the face here, but we'll leave it there for now. So let's bust through, bust through some marker. This is all not part of a collection, so I don't even care what colors these are. I'm just grabbing some colors to use here, and some neutral grays, or even warm grays. I'm 
green grays, gray gray. Green gray sounds like Jean Gray from the X Men. I guess I do have. Okay, Mecha Art. I know, I keep breaking my promise to you that I will do a gerbil. You probably hate me now. Like, ah, oh, you won't do a freaking gerbil. I just want a gerbil. Give me a gerbil, damn it. So I can at least draw fashion now. I wouldn't say that I would want to be a fashion designer, but I'll add that to the list of things <laughs> that I can draw. <laughs> oh, this was painful, but thank you for coming with me. I, I even considered, um, I was like, maybe Maybe I won't stream any more fashion this week, but then I thought, you know what? Don't be lame. Put it out there. Put it out there. So here we are. I put it out there for all of you. What is this? This is E33. I gotta dip into that that good good stash so I can get a nice dark dark brown. Let's see, 27. Oh, I do need the browns for the skin tones, though. Oh, I thought that brown said something else. Anyhow, this is Sketch Today Live. Thanks again for joining, being a part of the stream. Thank you, Antibus. Um, <laughs> it's been it's been a learning experience for sure. I don't know. Sometimes you do get comfortable as an artist, and I have certainly been comfortable with what I do. So it feels good to kind of break out of that a little bit. You're a little too rich in color, my friend. Do, 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 do. Yeah, go blow up Lori's stream, for real. Go blow it up, guys. I want you all to go follow her. She will love it. She'll be like, holy cow, what happened? She's one of our own... Uh, Fans, subscribers, she watches quite a bit. I guess I will do a face. Could do something like that, just with a little marker. You know, there I've got a face now. Do 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 do. All right, so there's how we went from, you know, one overlay here, or underlay to another to this guy. Learning as we go. And granted, it is just one, I shouldn't say one pose, but one, uh, or a fairly flat pose, rather. Fairly flat, but it works. I kind of want a brush pen now. I like the brush pens.
So I'll add some line weight to, to pop this out, pull it out a bit more as well. I forget you guys can see my face on this, so I'm gonna turn this, <laughs> turn this off. So you can't see me anymore. I wonder, okay. Glad you're having fun, Antibus. Glad you're having fun. Is there an adjustable brush pen? When you say adjustable, what do you mean? Do you mean like in terms of the, the width of the stroke or the size of the, the tip? That can mean a lot of things. It can mean a lot of things. All right, let's see. Ooh, there's a dongle. Um, <laughs> this is kind of a catch-all catch -all little bucket for me here. I've considered painting with black ink before. Um, yeah, my brush pen's not in here. But... I can use my Tombow brush pen. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. You guys wanted wide Copic, so let's do the wide. Adjust the length of the, I don't, not that I'm aware of, but maybe you should invent that. Adjusting the length of the nib. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure about that one. I mentioned this on a stream before, um, kind of a personal note. When I was younger, because I learned to draw from drawing books that featured predominantly white figures, I have had to learn to draw black figures and black hair. And what does that look like? Um, it's just interesting how cultural perspectives in our educational system can sometimes ignore like other points of view. And then you find yourself having to just learn to do it yourself, you know? And just layer in. Thank you, Marzi. Um, kind of just have to figure it out on your own and it's been a it's been a journey. For sure. Alright, so there we go. Oh, I messed up that one, but we'll use it. Let's see, 1038. Okay, we got five minutes. Uh, maybe I won't use that one. We can use this one. I'll do these two, and then we'll have our completed set. Our set of figures. Green pants, why not? I don't know what, what colors are in right now. I'm always wearing black. <laughs> I don't know what, what colors people are wearing, so. I guess if you have this bright of a top, you'd want something neutral up top, so. Uh, 
don't want to go too crazy. Or I guess I could do like a neutral gray top. And then maybe, what would go with the green here? This is why, this is why I just wear black. Cause my color mixing when it comes to outfits is just absolutely ridiculous. Cause I would like, if I were wearing this, I would put like pink on top or something. Which maybe I will do anyways. Let's go. Um, and this is printer paper, so it's a little bit trickier in some ways than marker paper. I kind of like that directional bit and maybe maybe our esteemed model here is wearing some red red pumps to like teach a class after this stream it's gonna be a hell of a day again <laughs> uh, but I love streaming so I just wanted to make sure make sure I got on all right maybe this is just a white hat with a little red trim or something and then I can just do some sort of light gray shadow. Yeah, I can probably just do something like that. Thank you, Mozzie. So Marzi said, it's nice that I've left white for the highlights. Yeah, it's something you kind of just learn with time and figure out. <clears throat> Why not have a bright yellow dress? Why not? My, six, my sister is actually a really talented uh, artist, illustrator, designer, and she had thought about being a fashion designer for some time. So she designs stuff every now and then.
on anime colors. Yeah, I guess so. I'm still figuring this stuff out. Like, we're going to do it again tomorrow. <laughs> I'm still figuring this stuff out. But, of course, if you have any requests, I'll try and take that into account. Just hit me up before the stream. Um, tomorrow I should be on around the set. No, actually, I have to take my Mini Cooper in for service. So, we'll see. We'll see what time I come in tomorrow. Not come in, but come on. I think I had this marker in college. I'm not kidding. So, again, if you want to store your markers, watch my video on how to store your markers. Because they'll last a long time if you just take care of them. Okay? Like, and when I say in college, I mean 12 years ago. So... So yeah, don't underestimate um, how taking care of your markers can make them last a very long time. I have a Mini Cooper. <laughs> how are you this cool? Yeah, I've always wanted a Mini Cooper. So for the last, I'm actually getting rid of it next year, but for the last seven years of my life, I guess, I've had a Mini Cooper. And they're fun. They're just not very practical when you are a father. Who needs to take your children places <laughs> and they're like grown-ass boys now getting smelly like I said had to do the laundry so sorry about the the background noise for a bit all right so I gotta wrap up here thanks guys it's been fun so we did one it actually turned out pretty good I mean I'll show you where I started out this morning. Well, actually, okay, so let's review. We did the lady in yellow, this one, this dude here. I guess I could give him, at, at the very least, a nose. To my, but anyhow, did this dude, let's touch up his hair. There we go. That feels better. I like these Tombow markers. Actually pretty great for uh, fashion sketching. Um, we did her. And unfortunately I messed up here. But I would probably overlay this one and do it again. If I were taking this a bit much seriously. But here we were yesterday, right? Kind of did this sci-fi Monday sketch yesterday. This is where we started this morning, right? Just kind of doing a little bit of quick study, looking at gestures, whatever. Um, and then trying to learn on the fly. So here's where we ended up. We did these four. Let's see if I can get them all here. These four quick uh, fashion sketches. So I um, feel like I'm getting the hang of it. Um, and hopefully... You have enjoyed watching me struggle <laughs> and push through this, <laughs> but here we are. And I'm going to try and do this more on the stream. I remember a while back we did animals, I think. You guys were like, can we do animals? And, uh, you know, leaned into it, made it work. And that was a good stream too. So um, keep the suggestions coming. Once again, definitely check out the Discord, all right? Discord. And that link is going to be in your uh, video description. But here you'll be able to participate in the weekly sketch challenge. And this way, on Friday when I post, we can get some feedback. I don't know if I'll be even qualified to give the feedback. Maybe I'll just share the stuff. Um, but yes, this is where you want to be. So post your sketches. I'm going to post mine. Um, hopefully you give me feedback too. Because like I said, I'm learning. But thank you so much for being here. I'm going to run and go teach my class. But until next time, blessings, peace, and happiness, and love.
to all of you. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you next time on Sketch Day.